Hello, Gemini. Welcome to Wasted Traditions. I'm Tiffany. Here we explore the wisdom of the tarot and I read intuitively offering general insights and guidance, encouraging you to take what resonates with you and leave the rest. But before we get started, I want to bless my decks of cards. Divine Spirit, bless these cards with your wisdom and light as I shuffle and draw. May your divine presence guide my readings and illuminate the paths of those seeking answers. So shall it be. Okay, Gemini, let's get into your reading. If you haven't checked out last week's uh, tarot reading for you, Gemini, I will link it in the cards and put it in the description below. These readings are timeless, so you will find something that resonates with you. Even if it's from two months ago. All right, Gemini. So let's find out what the Divine Spirit has for you. Divine Spirit, what do you want Gemini to know about the upcoming week of March 3rd through March 9th? Here we go. Trouble with the cards. <laughs> big stuff, big things are gone. Divine Spirit, what do you need Gemini to know? Do tell. All right, let's take a look at the shadow card. The shadow card is on the bottom of the deck and it normally points to either hopes or fears. You have the nine of wands and we will get into this shortly. What do we have for Gemini? We have the ace of cups, the two of cups, and the six of cups. Wow, a lot. A lot of emotional energy for you gemini mm, a lot of the water ele element all right divine spirit mm, okay newness beginnings relationships and harmony This is also love or being of service, right? All right, so with the Ace of Cups, there's a new, hmm, hmm, hmm. You, okay, okay, okay. I fit, Gemini, are you in search? Are you getting ready to get back onto the dating scene? Getting back onto the dating scene, Gemini, after some time of being single and working on self, which is always a beautiful thing to work on self, self-development. And now you're ready to get back out there, Gemini. So you're looking for a new beginning in love. You're looking to start dating and to find the one that you want to do life with and that's that's an adventure that is really really beautiful so definitely when you're ready looks like you're ready soon get back out there and then we have the two of cups so this is a partnership and specifically for you gemini i'm feeling like this is a romantic partnership you are looking to uh get started and have be worth it and find your person. Okay, Gemini. You're definitely looking for a connection. You're looking for a meaningful partnership. Again, somebody that you can absolutely do life with. They are your person. And then here with the six of cups, <coughs> excuse me, you want this relationship to be full of love and harmonious. Like, the yin and yang, it just fits, Gemini. This is what you're searching for. And this is what is available to you, right? I feel like you wanna, you're looking for someone that feels really familiar to you. And I believe you're going to be attracted to someone very soon that feels really familiar. And you're going to be able to get to know them a lot better. And you will use your discernment, right? We're just not going willy-nilly. This is a big deal, 
doing life with someone, that person, finding your person, I have confidence that you use great discernment. So let's take a look at this shadow card on the bottom. <coughs> Excuse me. Which is the nine of wands, right? I feel like you have been resilient where it has come to matters of the heart, Gemini, matters of relationship. You have been through some things that have put you through the ringer. But what I'm getting is that your heart is still open. You have not given up on love. You have not given up on finding your person. You have not given up on the fact that you are absolutely deserving of love and to be loved right and you have so much of it to give so what i'm getting with this this is your hope this is not a fear this is your hope of continued resilience on your part gemini okay this is beautiful let's go ahead and pull a single card from the shaman's dream oracle for gemini divine spirit give us a single card for gemini for the week of March 3rd through March 9th. Single card for Gemini, please. Mm, 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 mm. That was two. You know what? I'm going to just take them. I'm going to take both. I don't normally do that, but we're going to do it. We're going to make it do what it do, right? Falling Angel, Spiritual Narcolepsy. This card is really difficult with the brightness. I do apologize. Let's see if I can bring it in. Falling Angel, Spiritual Narcolepsy. And then we have Eyes of the Eagle rising above the fray. You see that, Gemini? All right. So... With the falling angel, spiritual narcolepsy. I want to caution you, Gemini. Do not lose sight of what it is you've been working on. You've been doing self-development, self-improvement, self-help in preparation for getting into a new relationship. Do not fall asleep at the wheel with all the hard work you've done. Do not lose sight of the accomplishments and the gains you've made personally, right? That's what I'm getting from this falling angel card, okay? Stay the course. Stay aware. Stay intentional with keep continued um, improvements of self. And then from the eyes of the eagle rising above the fray. Wisdom. Eagles are extremely wise and you need to keep your wisdom. Do not get mixed up in the foolishness of people that are not on the same type of path you're on. We, we, sometimes we walk together with like-minded people. So do not get into the foolishness. Rise above the foolishness, Gemini, right? So that you continue to have wisdom, you're self-aware, you're emotionally intelligent, and you do not lose your spiritual gains that you've made so far because it's going to be, it's going to be a super advantageous, you know what, I need to get a couple clarifiers. Let me go ahead and do that for you, Gemini. What else do we need, Gemini, to know, Divine Spirit? This is a beautiful reading. Gemini, all things point to yes for your newfound relationship. Let's see what else we can find out. Divine Spirit, what else does Gemini need to know? Being conscious, being aware being mindful of who you're listening to and hanging out with that's staying above the fray not getting into the petty triflingness right queen of pentacles this is you nurturing your relationship with self first and foremost you've been doing that continue to do that 
right? Gemini, continue to nurture yourself, making sure house and home are in order, your your physical, spiritual, emotional, and mental house and home, as well as your, your dwelling are in order. You've been nurturing this. Hmm. You, if I feel like people, when they're around you, they're very comfortable. You make people very comfortable when they're around you. And that's beautiful to have that type of energy, but also be mindful to protect your energy from energy vampires, uh, Gemini. And then here we have the Hierophant. All right. Um, there is a freedom in knowing yourself, knowing your higher self. Okay, Gemini, there's a freedom in knowing your higher self. It helps to guide you, right? It keeps you morally responsible to self and people that you care about and those people in your circle. This is, I just love your reading altogether, period. It is beautiful. All things point to yes, that you will find your person because you are actively seeking and you're ready to go. You've done the work. The work doesn't stop, but you've done the work to the point of it's time to move and let's get ourselves out there. And I'm excited for you, Gemini. Last card from the Spirit Animal Oracle for Gemini. Divine Spirit. Last card. One more card. I got played the last time. I got two cards. <laughs> One more card, Divine Spirit for Gemini. What animal spirit will they embody this week of March 3rd through March 9th? Canary spirit, sing your own song, Gemini. Be expressive, be joyful, be creative. Gemini, this is beautiful. Sing your own song, Canary spirit. Embody that canary this week. Gemini, this is a beautiful reading, and I wish you all the love, light, and abundance on your endeavors to find your person. Thank you so much, Gemini, for watching the video. I hope this resonates with you and helps you in some form or fashion. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos I have for you. I will see you soon. Until next time, bye-bye.